Alright guys, welcome to Erupt. We are here today with Call the Shots. And, uh... Wanna introduce yourself? Each? Alright, All right. I'm down. You wanna pass it along, or...? <laughs> I'm I'm Riley. I'm Damien. Josh. <laughs> and I'm Greg. <laughs> Why the name change from Autumn Heartache? Uh, I didn't really suit us much. Um, we sort of had pop punkish music with an emo name, so... Yeah, yeah. It, it's pretty much... We we're we're gonna get taken off. seriously. Alright, so, what's the band's history? How did you all mean how to form? Well, yeah, well, it started off, uh, yeah. Well, it was me, Greg and Josh, we used to jam, and um, we used to all go to the same school, so we used to, we used to jam, it wasn't really a band, though. Then we met uh, Dion, he used to be in a band called Miles and Miles. And, so did um, Riley, and we yeah, were actually at their first show, which yeah. is kind of pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> With the name change, how do you feel as though the music's grown? Do you... Well... We actually wrote the EP as Autumn Heart. The music like, hasn't changed. So <laughs> it's, I mean, it changed just gradually as usual bands do, but it didn't change when we changed the name Call of Shots because it was written as Autumn Heart. So, uh, yeah, it hasn't, it's changed, yeah, as I said. Well, people said we changed. <laughs> people, but yeah, we, people we said really we changed did. it. Cause that's we just how the music's changed as we've grown up. What is the inspiration for your sound? Like, bands that you might like, um, any, inspiration towards any of the songs or? Yeah, well I guess it's just bands that we grew up listening to, so like Blink-182, uh, New Fan Glory, um, a lot of the uh, big pop punk bands, um, some, we have some hardcore influences as well, mainly from like our older stuff. Some weird bird music. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, all, we all listen to a bit of different music as well, like it's not just we're all influenced by Blink-182 and that's what we write or anything like that, so like Greg's more into heavier stuff than I like acoustic music, so Riley's it's kind of like the opposite, and Riley listens, <laughs> well, yeah. Riley listens to whatever he listens to, what do you listen to? Everything. Yeah, he listens to my mic. Two of your songs seem to have lyrics as if like, almost revenge on somebody, like, it almost sounds as though you've been sure. bullied yeah. in school and you just want to say, HA! Josh, that, that's pretty much, yeah. I, I have you, a do you want to explain <laughs> it? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> No, it's pretty much, I'll Prove You Wrong was written about my teacher because she said I'd never be able to read music and that means that I wouldn't go anywhere, so I just wanted to prove her wrong. It's, that's it. It's that's not so encouraging for a teacher. No, I know, what a bitch. <laughs> have you all been recognised by a stranger? Have any of you been recognised by a stranger in public? I remember, we don't expect it, but one day we just went down to Sydney. We were just doing a promo flyer tour thing. And we just had people like sitting next to us in McDonald's and stuff, and all of a sudden their phone rings and it's our song, and it's like, wow, <laughs> that is insane. <laughs> and Soundwave on the weekend, like me and Riley spoke to a few people that came up to us and talked to us, and we, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so many people. <laughs> we just had a crowd yeah. of yeah. two people. Yeah, about yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, and, like, it's two people can be a crowd. Yeah. Well, we were there as well, so that's like four. four. And then, yeah. <laughs> there were other people all around. Yeah. <laughs> there are other people shut up now. <laughs> and so, how was the Take Your Chances tour? That's Give it to Riley. <laughs> Did you have fun? I have yeah, fun. I had fun. Yeah. There was like people crowd surfing in blow up boats. Like, yeah, you were waiting gold. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you were waiting gold just at every show, watching to every band. It wasn't, it, was it wasn't all good though, like we, our car broke down as well. It didn't break down. It did! It, did. <laughs> it broke, it was smoking from the bottom. <laughs> no, that was, it was smoking from the bottom. Somebody <laughs> forgot to put in radiator fluid? Uh, I don't know, it was, it was it breaks. It <laughs> breaks. Um, alright, so, seeing as though you guys went on tour, what was your favourite source of food on tour? Takeaway. No, Migarang. Migarang. Migarang noodles. I like to think I'm a bit of a cook. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, cook he likes to think he's so he'll cook some. So I, I cook to save everyone money. Like, I'll like cook a meal for like three bands or whatever. And then no one pays me back, so I end up spending <laughs> spending more money. So it doesn't really work. Are there any nights that you actually didn't get to eat? Plenty. Yeah. When we run out of noodles. Yeah, yeah well, we can't find any hot water and you just have yeah. crunchy noodles. We don't have... Oh, that's a bit depressing. Um, <clears throat> Alright, so... Do you guys have plans for a music video at all? Or have you thought about one, or...? <laughs> We're actually... 
<laughs> doing a homemade one with a camcorder. Sounds a bit like short stack at the moment. No, no, it's worse <laughs> than that because I've already edited half of it and it's just like <laughs> we're we not actors. We don't have enough money <laughs> or acting skills to make it film cool. So we play we play instruments. We don't act. So it's probably gonna suck. <laughs> it does. What is the worst thing that has happened on stage ever that you can think of? Embarrassing or disastrous? Actually, I know the worst thing. It was in Sydney, um, and we just did this awesome, epic dubstep Pokemon intro. Oh, yeah. And then Greg Strap broke. <laughs> yeah. We were just like, yeah, this is going to be so good. We're playing in Sydney. This is awesome. And then, like, a minute into our set, Greg's like, I need a strap. Yeah, right. so they don't have a strap. Right. So we had to stop, <laughs> stop the whole yeah. thing and, and <laughs> ask for a strap. Really, a letdown. You, you need to do the whole. We well, did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that's pretty much all the questions I have. Do you guys have a message to the fans? You want to send out or? Fuck um, us. Buy some t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Come see us on our headlining shows in March. If you're watching Sydney, this, Newcastle and Brisbane. If you're watching this after that, then just come and see us so we're not blown. I'm coming